Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. It's Taylor. Today I have an empty video for you guys. You guys wanna see what products that I have used up and if I recommend them or not, then just keep watching. If you guys like my bucket hat, I'll link it down below. But anyway, the first product we have is the Moulin Rose Cosmetic Glam Gloss, which is Contaminized Beauty Brand. This is our glam gloss in the shade Kaylee. You can tell mine is very well loved. As you can tell I really like brown. Um, this one is rose scented, it retails for $10. This is our old packaging, it comes in packaging like this now, but the top is black, not white. And yeah, I wear mine a lot, as you can tell. These are also rose scented. Still smells good. <laughs> but yeah, that's the first part. Of it. Next up we have the Tony Moly Easy Touch Auto Eyebrow Pencil. I have mine, I don't know, I think it's in brown, no no clue it might be the black or br it might be the black one i'll have to look it up it is a triangle bra pencil i got this from yes style this lasted a really long time actually i was doing my makeup one day i was like oh this is such a nice bra pencil and then the end of it broke off so yeah yes i would repurchase this pencil it's a really pencil i think i might like my next one i have more but I do miss this one. So what I repurchase this? Yes. Wow, I completely missed the trash bag. Next up we have a eyeliner. This is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Eyeliner. This is the matte version in the shade matte black. It's like this. It's the eyeliner I'm wearing today, just in the normal version. But our, this retails for $7.99, I think. Yes, for $7.99. But I repurchased, yes, I have two in my drawer right now. So I have the normal black one and the brown one. So my favorite eyeliner. Next up we have the Wet n Wild Coal Eyeliner in the shade Simma Brown Now. This is what mine looks like. This is what it's supposed to look like. So this is my favorite liner. I have backups upon backups. <laughs> I think it retails for a dollar. You can get a dollar now for a dollar twenty-five, but or at Target. This is my favorite liner. And if Wet n Wild ever stops making this, I will be highly upset. But if they do stop making it, then Moonlight Rose Cosmetics will make their own. Last but not least for makeup, we have the Beauty Bakery Cake Pop Lippy in the shade Choco Lava. Looks like this. I scraped as much as I can scrape, so. I had this for a couple years. These are only ten dollars, and they last such a long time. So, highly, highly recommend these. I have another shade. I have the orange one, and the red, and a red shade. So yeah, really good, and they last a long time. Highly recommend. Next up, I have two oils from Shea Moisture. The first one is the 100% Jamaican Black Castor Oil, and then the 100% Shea Oil. They look like these are the mixture of oils that I've been using in my hair for. Maybe the past year. I don't know, I, my hair has grown a little bit. I don't know if it's, if, it's, if it's because of this product or like the cream that I'm using, but would I repurchase these? Yes. Next up we have the OGX Argan Oil of Morocco. This is the Healing Dry Oil, looks like this. This one, I stopped using in my hair after I found the Shea Moisture ones and with the whole scandal. But I do like it for my wigs and weave. So what I repurchase it for that? Yes, because I think it does eliminate frizz and it makes my hair super shiny. So, for my wigs and weaves and braids and stuff, yes. For my actual hair, maybe not. It's like $8, so yeah, I would repurchase this one. Next up, we have my favorite hair mask. This is the TJN Honey Miracle Mask. It has raw honey and olive oil in it. It's like $18. It did go up. I think I think at Target now, it's like $20. But they have a bigger size, which is like $30, but it is worth every penny. My favorite hair mask. I think my friend Erin recommended this to me. If not, I recommend it to her. I think she told me about this product and I told can tell you about it. My favorite hair mask. If you don't get anything else from this video, pick up this. Or if you wanna support us, you can also pick up a Glam Gloss. Or maybe you don't want that one and you want a Bobo Gloss. I don't know. Last but not least for hair, I have my favorite shampoo and conditioner. This is the Carol's Daughter Black Vanilla 
Um, yeah, black vanilla conditioner and shampoo. These both say conditioner. Where's the shampoo? Okay, well, apparently these are both the conditioner. I had a shampoo. I don't know where it went. But yeah. These you can get from Target. They cost a little bit more. If you get them from Carol's Daughter's website itself, they have coupons. And it's like, right now, it was on sale for like $8. So, this is the only shampoo conditioner that I use. It's my favorite. Keeps my hair nice, shiny, soft not frizzy it's ex expensive or more expensive than like i don't know herbal essence or something but again highly recommend if you have dry hair like me next up we have skincare and we have a lot of skincare the first thing i have are the Cosrx acne pimple patches i have three you can tell that i love these again i said my last one of these are cheap and they're effective and you get more of these then the hero ones if you get them from yes doll they're cheaper you can get these i think on amazon and also they have them like in a bigger box but if you just want a pack of these i think yes i have them for like two dollars and ninety cents so yeah it's my favorite pillow patches next up i have the cetaphil gentle skin cleanser this is a sample i got in my walmart beauty box this when i first tried it maybe it wasn't this cleanser but it was another cetaphil cleanser i did not like it this one was okay if they didn't have this if i went to the store and they didn't have CeraVe, would i buy this one yes did it work yes it just i don't know it just doesn't amaze me it's probably good for my skin i don't know i don't know i would repurchase it if they didn't have my CeraVe or i couldn't get CeraVe. i would repurchase this but this little sample lasted me about a week so yeah speaking of favorite cleanser surprisingly only have one this is the CeraVe renewing essay cleanser for normal skin i actually have dry skin but this works my favorite cleanser this one in the first day beauty first beauty one can be kind of dry sometimes so yeah this one i've been using it for a couple years now favorite cleanser highly recommend am i gonna repurchase yes that i already repurchased also yes am i almost out of that one also yes <laughs> Next up, we have my favorite moisturizer, which is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I have three, and yes, I do cut my products open to get every last drop. Yeah, um, I should probably invest in the bigger size. I like to get these, the travel sizes, because they fit inside my skincare container. Yeah, I might just get the other one. Because I've been going through these. I feel like I used to use these, like once every three months now i can go this in a month month and a half so yeah i will be picking another one i'm using another moisturizer right now don't like it as much i think i'm starting to like it now but i do miss my ultra repair cream it is kind of thick if you have dry skin it's kind of thick for summer no if you live in a hot climate it, this gets kind of thick so or it's too heavy is what i oh my god the truck yeah, if you do live somewhere where it's hot like me, um, during summer this can get kind of heavy because of the heat and it's a thick cream, so, yeah. But besides that, we'll, I will be repurchasing probably in the bigger size, if they have it. Next up we have the Kinship Mint Mud Mask. This is a deep pore detox mask. It looks like the packaging is so gorgeous. The smell is amazing. Um, did this mask work? probably probably but every time i would use it it broke me out so is it me or the mask who knows what i repurchase is no never again unless they change the formula but as of now no i don't recommend this next up we have the centella green level eye cream from perito this one i definitely noticed that my under eyes were more moisturized and my dark circle started to fade out a little bit um this eye cream 10 out of 10. i missed it i haven't had this in months i'm gonna buy another one so yes got this from yes style go buy this <laughs> next up we have the tony moly taco pore strip these are my favorite because as you can see it this is what it looks like so it goes Wow, like that. <laughs> so it takes up a lot of surface area and oh, I like these these occasionally got all the extra gunk and stuff out, so 
These are 350 from Ulta, 10 out of 10 recommend. Again, I'm going to repurchase. So for skincare, we have the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I have two bottles that I used of. I, okay, this was my favorite Hyaluronic Acid Serum. And if you're watching, you're gonna be proud. I've been using the Good Molecules one and I think I like that one better. <laughs> That one's a little more thicker. I feel like I have to use less. This one, I feel like I have to use a whole like bottle of it. That one, I can use about half, and my skin is so moisturized afterwards. Nice and hydrated, so. Would I repurchase this? Yes. Do I think I like the Good Molecules one more? Also, yes, but this is also good, so. Yeah. Last one, at least, we, we have Body. I have three of the Arna Grande perfumes. I have Cloud. Cloud, Too Like Candy, and Ari. Can I tell which one is Too Like Candy? I think it's this one. I don't know, but I like Too Like, Can too like Candy and Cloud the most. Ari's good too. I have the whole little perfume set in the bottles are so adorable. I have the whole little perfume set. Out of the whole perfume set, Heartbreaker is by far Ari's worst perfume. I took one smell of that and I had a migraine. That's how strong it is. Yeah, but these out of my favorite, it might be cloud. It used to be sweet, sweet like candy, but am I gonna repurchase these? Yes. <laughs> Next up, we have the Soap and Glory Hand Food, the original pink lotion. As I mentioned before, I used to like, I got this in a Walmart beauty box. It didn't really do much. It was not moisturizing. I think if you watched the video I posted, the reel I posted on Instagram, I think I rated it. I started, I didn't mean to. No, absolutely not. Never again. It just, it just didn't do anything. So, don't recommend this. Okay, next up we have the Gold Bond Pure Moisture Daily Body and Face Lotion. Did not know this, this was a face lotion. Got this in a Walmart Beauty Box. This one to me was better than the Soap and Glory one. But I repurchased this. Honestly, yes. I think for what it was, it was pretty good. So I would purchase a bigger size and maybe a different scent. This doesn't smell like anything, so that's good. But maybe a different scent or something, but yeah, I would repurchase this. Last two items. Also, all the products I have been showing you guys are linked down below. Um, they may not be in the right order. I kind of went out of order, but they will be linked down below. Next up, we have the Cocoa Care 100% Cocoa Butter in the stick form. This I use on my elbows and knees and my hands when they were super dry during winter. I finished it up. It's a little like push one, like a push pop. Um, I don't know what happened. It was nice and soft and then it got dry and hard, which made it very hard to use. What I repurchased is, yes, it was really good. I'm gonna try the one in the tub though. But yeah, I don't know why it got hard. But yeah, I do like it and I would repurchase. Last but not least, I have my Tony Moly Watermelon Dew all over. Sugar polish, I got this from Ulta maybe last December. I finally used it up. This, highly, highly recommend this too. It's not super abrasive, which I like, but my legs feel nice and smooth afterwards. My only problem, not problem, I love watermelon. It's my favorite fruit. I just wish they had more scents. <laughs> like, tell me, please come on with more scents. This is, this stuff is so good. And it lasts a pretty long time too. So it's something else that I highly recommend. So guys, that is all for the video. Let me know your most used product or any product you think that I should try out. If there's any videos you want to see from Kentai and I, then let me know or let us know. Yeah, that's all for the video and bye guys.